Welcome to CED Mo's Boss online video series. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to set up Ethernet communications between a PanelView 800 and a 1769 Compact Logix. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have CCW, Connected Components Workbench, open here. Um, we skipped a couple steps on the intro. We just went ahead and added our four inch touchscreen that I have sitting here uh, next to me. And we, I went in and I configured just a simple start, stop, running indication using these tags. And this would be the controller tag in the controller. And that's our controller path. So to set this up to communicate to a control or a compact logix controller, so I have an L36 controller sitting here. We're going to come over to our controller settings. You see the path name is PLC1, and that's what we have under our tags. So we're just going to leave that alone. Controller type is set to micro 800, and that's because of this Allen Bradley SIP up here. So we're going to change the protocol. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go to Allen Bradley Compact Logix. As you can see, we can also do this with MicroLogix and Slicks. So Compact Logix. And it's going to tell you that using Compact Logix, you cannot use email or FTP. So it's just giving you that warning, and it also gives you that warning right here, and tells you you have a limit of 50 screens and 400 alarms. So down here in the address bar, we're going to type in our IP address of the Compact Logix, and we're just going to leave it at that for right now until I show you something. Beat this out of here, and then knowing that, we're going to go ahead and validate this. Now we're going to get this error. This panel view 800 app 1 is invalid. Why? Because our compact logix uh, path is invalid. Um, so if you were to search this on uh, knowledge base, this error code, you would end up finding this um, knowledge base article 774421 where it tells you how to set up the um, communications path to the compact logix. And what it'll tell you is that you have to have the comma 1, comma 0 in your address, um, in the IP address. So we're going to come back over, close this, go here, and we're going to retype our IP address in here. Comma 1, comma 0. Enter. Now we're going to try to validate. And we get valid, please save. So we'll save it. We're going to download it to our panel view. Stop. And then we will get a uh, overwrite indication here too. Okay, we're going to overwrite and start the new application. So once that loads, okay, it's loaded, it's sitting here next to me. We have this running um, L36 with our little stop, and here's our start and our stop from our panel view 800. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the only hiccup is make sure you get that comma one, comma zero in there, and there you have it. You can use this with um, an L1, two, or three. And also, you do need to have firmware 4.01 or higher in the panel view. Anything before that will not be able to do this. So, and any questions, let us know. Thanks. Once again, thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosba Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosba.com media. Thanks again.